Shot I'm going to shoot now for you guys is called the eight ball rental shot. If you're shooting on a nine foot table, you're going to need a total of 17 balls. If you're shooting on an eight or smaller, you'll need a total of 16 balls. That is including your cue ball. Let me show you the setup. In the top corner, you'll have the seven, the six, and the five. Take the seven ball, the seven ball will be kissed up to the rail, the six ball will be kissed up to the seven, and the five ball will be kissed up to both the six and the seven. To get the correct angle and the correct distance, draw a line through your seven, six, and your six ball, if it was followed through, it would need to get a full ball hit on your nine ball. All right, come down to your long rail. And if you're shooting on a nine foot table, you're gonna need six strike balls. If eight or smaller, five strike balls in between your nine and your eight. Your eight ball will be in line with the center diamond. Then you'll have your six strike balls or on eight foot table, five, and then the nine ball. Come one ball width off the eight ball and set your four three. Your four three are gonna be set at a slight angle. Take the line in between your four three where they're contacted up and, the left, and that line should line up with the left side of your five ball. Come one ball width off the four three and set your two one. That's gonna be set at the same angle as the four three. Come down to your side pocket and if you're shooting on an eight foot table, you'll have an extra strike ball, so just use that ball. Um, I had to use the extra cue ball. Come about two inches in and set your extra ball from the side pocket, and I'll explain to you why in just a minute. Then come down, after your side pocket, come down to your first diamond, and I set my, extra, or my other cue ball here. And come down to your short rail, and where your first diamond is here, go a little bit beyond that to set your cue ball. Here's how the shot plays out. When I shoot the cue ball into the one ball, the one the one is contacted up to the cue ball. So when the one makes contact, or when the cue ball makes contact with the one ball, it's going to kick the, the two ball out. The one ball will roll up and hit the three ball. The three ball is contacted to the four, so that a kiss out. The three ball continue up the table while the one ball continues over to that side. The three ball will contact the five ball. The five ball will contact the seven and the six. The energy is going to carry the six down into the nine ball. When, it, when the six makes contact with the nine ball, the energy will flow through into the eight ball. The path here is cleared out. The eight ball will roll down the table, kiss off the cue ball, and into the pocket. When we're shooting that cue ball, now you shoot the cue ball at 630. Now, when you shoot the cue ball, if your maximum shot is your stroke shot, your maximum power shot is a 10 for your break shot, you want to use about a five. And when you shoot, this is kind of how you aim for it. Aim to where if there were no other balls on the table, but the cue ball, the one and the eight, that you were, if you were shooting a combo ball, you, combo, you would hit the one ball into the eight ball and the eight ball would roll up. Here's how the shot looks. Shoot it at about a power of about five at 630. Okay, and that is the eight ball riddle shot. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time.